Rita. Today I would like to share with you my favorite lip liners. So I sort of, um, they're not all of my lip liners, but I think that's still quite a lot and I probably don't need them all. But just in case you don't have any of those and you like the look of them, hopefully with the swatches it will so be I easy to do. I thought i show you swatches of my favorite lip liners because I know myself when I want to buy something online um, it's very difficult to choose the color because the colors on pictures are never true to life. I find that um, even photos on Instagram are not always the same because they all can be taken in different lighting and I know videos can be taken in different lighting. I hope my lighting is quite good because I always do it in a daylight and when I look to the monitor, I feel like the swatches are true to life. But obviously, it depends on your monitor. Okay, well. So I will start with um, the nude ones. And I know you can have nude pinks, nude browns, nude mauves. These ones are a bit, um, I would say, nude brownish natural ones. And they will be high-end and um, drugstore. So let me start with Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I have two in a sort of nude category. One is the iconic nude, and that's the brownest of them all. Let me swatch it for you. And remember the swatches are going to be really intensified because I just want to show you the shade of it and the um, colour. Obviously, when you put them on your lips, it depends how hard or how light you press it, the intensity that you get. So there it is, Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. The second one, uh, Charlotte Tilbury pencil is Pillow Talk. And this is still nude, but a bit more pinky. It's a bit lighter than the Iconic Nude. I love these. I, I've talked about them before when I did a haul, uh, how much I love them. I just love the, um, I don't know, the right amount of right tone of the shades, if you know what I mean. I just absolutely love them. They are very creamy. They have great staying power. So that's the Iconic Nude and that's the Pillow Talk. Uh, the next three will be Drugstore and my all-time favourite that I used to use all the time and you know when I talk to you about um, the L'Oreal Rosewood blush that I used to use all the time because I found it so versatile and went with everything. That's how I feel about the L'Oreal uh, lip liner in Rosewood funny enough. There is something about me and Rosewood. And there it is. So you can see they sort of in the same. I mean, it depends on your monitor. In, in mine, the colors are looking pretty true to life. So, love that one. And a couple of NYX. NYX eyeliners you cannot be beat they are cheap they are good quality and the color choice is out of this world so i think you can find any shade that you desire so the first one is and these are my two favorite nude ones pickable neutral and you'll hear me talking about it all the time so there's your pickable neutral this one is a bit more going into pink like the uh, pillow talk and then the natural and that's again more brownie so as you can see they are very similar but they're still all different and the great thing about lip liners is that you can change the look of your lipsticks uh, like for example I'm wearing nude vanilla today and I have I can't remember what I've put on now <laughs> It was a while ago, so I don't I don't remember which one I've put in. But if I want to make it a bit darker, then I put a bit darker lip liner and I fill my lips in a bit and go over with the lipstick and that will change completely the look of that lipstick. So that's what's great about lip liners. And of course, you can make your lips to look a bit bigger as well. So they were my like brownie nudes. 
now let me go to more of a uh, mauve pinky nudes and I have just three here the first one is my beloved Rimmel Eastern Snob and I really really like this one so as you can see this is more pink and in the real life it's it's not too mauvey, but it's sort of, it's quite neutral, I would say. So it's not too pink, it's, it's not too warm, and it's not too cool. So it's a bit neutral, that one. Then I have Kiko Smart Pencil in, oh, they don't have names. They do on website, but not on, on the packaging. This is number 712. There it is. I suppose I could have put them all in the nude category but when I look at them close up um, in real life these th three look less brown more pinky mauvey and then Jordana is Elena in baby berry so to me these are still quite nude but more on a Movie side. Now my pale pinks, very pale pinks, are two dual lip liners, which are beautiful, um, and I've talked about them before. They are really, really nice lip liners, but I don't think they are worth the hype and the money. I use them because they are beautiful, but I cannot tell you that they are so much better than the NYX. Um, ones for example. So I have two here. This one is um, 183 Mauve Veil. So this is you know the one of um, uh, the bluish pinks that I like. So that's Mauve Veil and this one is 573 Airy Mauve and this one is quite true mauve and then the lightest pink of them all is my Urban Decay 24-7 in Native I don't often use this one because it is so so pale I know you can see the color really well, but I went a few times over it. It's a very, very pale um, lip liner. If you've got very pale skin or winter skin, um, then that might show up, but it is very pale. So I don't often use it, although I really like the Urban Decay uh, lip liners. Now to a bit brighter ones. As you know, I don't wear many bright lipsticks, but now and again, I feel like it. So I, of course, have a few lip liners that, that have some color to it. Um, first one is, so I go into like corals and oranges. First one is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pink Venus. And I know it's called Pink Venus, but it is very corally. I wouldn't say it's pink at all. It's a coral pink. There it is. So this one goes really lovely with like um, Nars Niagara, with any of those coral lipsticks. I can't think now of any coral lipstick that I have, but it goes really nicely with the corals, like paler corals. And another coral one, orange one, is again from Kiko, and this one is 702. And that is a really, really bright orange. Beautiful color. So if I ever feel like wearing <laughs> orange lipstick like this. And here I've got like the darker wine and fuchsia pinks. And most of them are from NYX again, because like I said, um, like these three, um, they are all from NYX and there is such a great choice of colors and they are great great um, quality. So the first one is Bloom and these are more into like your Cerise Fuchsia. I hope they show really well. So that was Bloom. 
then this one is in fuchsia and this one looks fabulous it's almost identical uh, to the fuchsia one that I bought from the lipstick fuchsia lipstick that I bought from Maybelline and also MAC Candy Yum Yum that is like a perfect match so that is fuchsia okay then another one is sand pink another nice bright pink although a bit lighter than these two so these three are taking care of my bright pink lipsticks and I have Kiko which is more of a berry color wine color so that's if I really fancied something darker that's why I've got just one because I don't tend to wear those really dark colors and this is in 711 see that's more of a wine color and the very last one is my one and only red lip liner I very rarely wear red lips um, so I have only one red lip liner and this is from Rimmel Red Diva and it's the same one like you know the Eastern Snob beautiful red one of those reds true reds that I would say is more of a blue red that gives you really white teeth so as you can see how many is there about 20 and I think I've taken care of every color that I need so these are my sort of brownie nudes these are my pink nudes these are my light um, mauve pinks uh, these are my bright pinks couple of corals and red so these were my favorite lip liners before I go um, <laughs> let me just tell you about my makeup um, I won't be putting down what it is. I have all sorts of stuff on my eyes. I was playing uh, this morning with my eyeshadows and I've stuck these enormous eyelashes which are absolutely ridiculous. They look nice on, um, on camera but there's no way I'm going out anywhere with them. Um, yes, yeah, so um, I won't post what's on my eyes but I will post the rest of my face. Um, that's it then. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye!